and welcome back to Kilowatt Wednesday. This week's sponsor is Hot Purple Energy, and here this morning is the president of the company, Nate Otto. Good to see you again. Good morning. I'd like to go back and start kind of at the beginning for somebody who doesn't know a thing about solar other than, you know, the sun supplies the energy. But in order to create energy, you've got to have the groundwork. <laughs> What's the first starting point? The first starting point when you're investigating solar is looking up companies to work with. Um, you know, there's a lot of options out there with companies, but when you start really digging down on it and investigating, you start finding that um, there's fewer and fewer choices of companies that are going to be there and stand by you and use reputable products on your house. And so what, you know, if I'm, if I'm the client, what do I need to ask to make sure that I'm making a right choice here? Um, you know, starting with the, the Construction State License Board, or California State License Board, um, is a good place to start in, in investigating the company and investigate the responsible managing officer. Um, that they really have the skills to do it, how long they've been in business, um, and how they've taken care of customers in the past is a really good place to start. And with all the online reviews, it really does help. So when you are thinking about putting solar in, should you be thinking in terms of the square footage of your home? Is that a, is that a good starting point? Or no? you, you know, if we have to, we'll use that. But the truth is, is people's lifestyles really make the biggest difference on their consumption and their efficiency of their home. If their HVAC is bad, if their pool pump is old, all these things use a lot more power than they should. And so it should be more a little bit more custom to what your lifestyle is and also what your lifestyle is going to be down the future and taking out those bad appliances that may be using too much power. Yeah. Eventually, you don't have to do it right away, but know that that's the plan and don't put a bunch of solar on your house to offset something that's using too much energy. All right, because you're spending, you're throwing good money after bad. Absolutely. Okay. You'd be better spending it on the HVAC than the than extra solar panels. Sure. And, and so the other thing is there's also the aesthetics of it. You know, and we've talked about this before. Um, you know, where should I put them, and are they going to be in the best spot? Do do I want to, you know, uh, lessen the curb appeal of my house because I've got all these solar panels on top? Well, going back to good money after bad. Um, you know, no, you don't want to make your house ugly. Um, your house, you know, your equity in your house is tens of thousands of dollars, and that those extra few panels that you get on there that start making your house look a little awkward are only going to yield hundreds of dollars a year. So at the end of the day, 10 years down the road, you still haven't equated possibly detracting from the sale of your home. So you don't want to do that. I think a lot of people are also confused um, on once I get the solar thing in, am I leasing it? Am I going to buy it out right? Um, what are more people doing now? Are they avoiding the lease option? Well, they've started learning that there's better options than the lease. The lease really only serves people when they don't have a tax appetite. They allow the leasing company to take the tax credit and reduces their cost of the uh, system. But with the loan programs that are also zero down, you have a lot better options and you're not tied into a 20-year lease. You can buy it off early. I mean, really financing a solar system is a, a home equity line of credit is by far the best way to do it, but there are some uh, some other loans out there that are solar specific um, that aren't uh, that are solar specific. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. And That's good to know. I Maybe mean, it's like a car loan. <laughs> yeah, they're they're you know? they're not terrible. I mean, the interest rates when you're talking about a non collateralized loan, they start going up a right. little bit, obviously. Um, but being able to pay it off early and maybe getting rid of some of those entry fees. Yeah. Um, it starts making sense and it is better than the lease. You've done some fun things with solar. Um, I know that the, um, the sculptures with the bunnies, Yes. Um, you, you lit them up using solar. How did you do that? Um, well, it just the old time solar, uh, you know, uh, off grid batteries um, and solar panels. That's something that we've been doing over the last 10 years that Hot Purple Energy has been doing business. Um, we've been doing a lot of events. I mean, a lot of people know the Hot Purple Energy All-Stars, which is our band that plays at a lot of events, and usually they're powered by off-grid solar. <laughs> um, and we Wait a get, minute. You know, I mean, like the guitars, are, are you're playing these things using solar power? Absolutely. Really? We've even had people record up in Joshua Tree using our, uh, our solar trailer. 
Uh, we get called all the time for, for that type of power. We missed the boat by not having the band in here to perform. <laughs> we did miss the vote. They're <laughs> quite talented. Are they? If you yes. do pat yourself on the back. I, it isn't me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't play in the band? They don't allow me to. Okay, well. They actually have talent. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. So anything else that we should know? I mean, because, you know, when people want to dip their toe into the solar world, I mean, it can be very, very confusing for them. It can be, and that's why we try to actually slow the process down a little bit. I mean, if, if they're experienced, if they know the technology, if they know the company that they want to work with, yes, we have no problem going into the home and somebody going, hey, here's a check, let's get going on this. Um, but typically we try to go, you know, hey, s slow down for a minute, let's think about this, let's look at all the different things that are going to change in your life, maybe over the course of the next five, ten years, and make sure that we do this uh, intelligently yep. and holistically. Is there a certain percentage that uh, a company can guarantee that you are going to save, you know, with solar, or is is that too much of a stretch? Well, to guarantee the savings is a little hard because you're competing against what the utilities are going to do. What you can do is you can guarantee the production of the system, how much power it's going to produce every year, and Hot Purple Energy does just that, and the guarantee isn't at the price per watt that you are paying for the solar, it's the guarantee is the price per watt that you're buying it from the utility at. So it's the best guarantee out there, quite honestly, that I know of. You're full of good information. <laughs> well, I got one last thing. Oh, yeah, all right. You asked me what the most asked question yes, is. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I totally, you stumped me, but it was the stupidest thing. The most asked question that we get is how do we get the name of Hot Purple Energy? Okay, and it, answer, answer please. Answer is uh, my daughter invented the color. Okay, <laughs> all right, perfect. So well, there you go. That's a, that's a great answer. All right, thank you, Nate. Okay, well, we thank you. It's yeah. been fun. All right, thank you. We'll take a break and we'll be right back.